All right, in this video, I'm gonna be tooling up one of these flowers off of our belt patterns here, this particular flower. So this is my pattern book, volume three, and I have this pattern, that belt pattern, tapped off right here. So tap it off, just a way to transfer that pattern. Uh, if you haven't seen that yet, there's a video that goes over that. But I wanna go through each step on tooling this. Starting, I'm gonna start with my swivel knife, pulling these cuts, towards where that flower center is going to be. Now, I'm not connecting those points. That's a big thing because we don't want to create a weak spot in that leather with wear over time. Now, I'm going to pull my cut backwards here because I'm trying to keep this the same direction for the camera. But normally I start out on these tips and pull those all towards my center there. Alright, next thing we're going to use is, this is a number two checkered bevel from Barry King. And I'm going to start just running on that outside line. I'm going to tilt that a little bit to get around those corners. I'm not worried about fading coming toward that center because we're going to touch up those, those lines when we come back and actually tool that center where we didn't connect those points out there with my swivel knife, I can now connect those with my bevel. So it looks like that's cut all the way through, but we still have the full integrity of the leather there, so that's really important. Now when I look at any kind of tooling, I'm looking for efficiency. So right now I'm beveling everything I can reach from this side of my belt. Uh, and when I say reach, obviously it's all right here in front of me. I can reach it all, but I want a tool where I can see. So I want to see this flat spot of that bevel anytime I'm beveling. I don't want to try to bevel this line and have that turned around backwards because it's easy to jump that line and bevel where I don't want to bevel. So once I bevel all my lines that I can reach from this direction, Normally I'd go down a full belt, but right now I'm just doing this flower, so I'm gonna flip that around. And now I can get our other lines. And again, I'm leaving that spot open in the center where we're gonna put our center at. Get the last of those beveled around there. Next thing I'm going to do is do some shading. Now what I like using for a shader is a vertical line thumbprint. This particular one is a Berry King number two. And we'll start out here at that tip and as I go I'm creating that little highlight ridge right on that outside edge and I'm pulling those lines towards the center and that's going to help our overall flow. And this is a tool that we're always tilting and rocking. Every time I'm tilting that tool, we get a, a nice dark line here. But then it softens that back edge and fades that up into that flower petal. Again, as I'm working my way around this flower, I'm rotating that tool, making sure those lines are pulling back down towards the center there. And we have other videos that go with a lot more depth on different tools and how to run them, but this is given a just a little brief overview anyways on how we're going to apply these tools just in this portion of the pattern here. Two more little spots. Pretty much everywhere there's a ridge on the outside of that flower petal is where I'm throwing a little bit of shading down. Okay. Next thing I like to do is a little bit of lifting. Um, if you don't have a real small lifter, you can even just use your stylus. This happens to be the stylus out of our beginner's tooling kit. But just pushing right 
in there will help get a little bit of a lift out of there. The other tool I have is one that I took to the grinder and kind of ground down. That's what I like using in there too. It does a pretty good job lifting up just on those little tighter ridges. On the outside edge, this is kind of that next step that I like take. You don't have to do this, but this is a little round face bevel. Uh, it's a small round checkered bevel. I'll use that on those bigger curves. It helps lift the edge of that pedal up just a little bit, brings a little bit more life to that flower there. And now I'm on to doing that flower center. So I'm going to do this center just like we have in the book here again where you it shows it, it has a tooled piece to, uh, for a reference point there. So I'm going to show you how I do that center there because it shows the line art, then the bevel options, um, and then to that final one. You can put any flower center you want here. That's how you start getting kind of your own look to stuff. But I start with just that round center there. And then I'm going to use a center liner. So it's got that one concave in there. But if you don't have one of these, a vertical line thumbprint works real well in here or whatever you use for your shading. Like I'm not going to tell you you have to go get all a bunch of special tools. Just use whatever you use for shading. Throw a little bit of shading in around that center. And now I can go back to my bevel. We'll go back to the same bevel we had, that same checkered bevel. I'm going to sharpen up these lines and bring them right back down to my flower center. I'm going to flip this around so I can see those lines better. And we bring those right back into that center. Kind of sharpens that up, adds a little bit more depth into that flower there. Now we'll go back to that same round center that we had. Throw that right in there. Uh, and then you'll notice the one in the book had a little dot in there. That's just a small, another tool, just a small little cedar that I drop in there. So just something to add to that, uh, that flower center, give it a little bit of a look. Now the last part, my favorite part is the decorative cuts. And this is gonna bring some flow to these petals here. And when we pull these cuts, I'm gonna start that cut deep faded off light and I'm having some curve in that cut and fading it towards the center. That's a big part of this. Fading down towards that flower center there. Now there's different ways you can do it here. We just kind of ran all those cuts that way. I'll do this one a little bit different so you can see here. Maybe we open that up a little bit in that petal. Not wrong, just different. So a couple different options for you on that. Main thing is those cuts start deep, and they fade off light. They have some curve to them, and they pull towards our center. Those are kind of your main fundamentals for those cuts. And there we have it, flower from start to finish.